Can you think of a place that you can truly call nothing? If you close your eyes right now and try to think about nothing, what would that look like? Would nothing be the distance between Earth and the Moon for you, or the vast empty space between stars? Do you have an idea of what makes nothing? The basic notion implies a space that has nothing in it. When you think about it, it's a simple concept that even kids can understand. But why is it so hard to explain? Well, even the pure nothingness that you were probably thinking about is not actually nothing, or empty for that matter. That's why instead of trying to pinpoint the properties of nothing, scientists took vast emptiness between stars and galaxies and gaps between atoms and various microscopic elements as a base point for research and discussions. Having a reference point made things interesting. When we talk about the vast empty space that surrounds us, that quote-unquote empty space is not technically empty. It is not nothing because something is there, something that you may not be able to see with your eyes, but it is present. Just like there is something between atoms and the microscopic elements, there is something in the gulfs of intergalactic space. Every cubic meter of empty space contains hundreds or even thousands of particles. But what if you got a hold of a super vacuum and vacuumed up all those particles? Well, you would still end up with wavelengths of radiation. There's also gravity that spans across the vast distances of space, and magnetic fields from distant quasars, which may be extremely weak, but it would still be there. And that is not nothing. But nothing is not the real nothing, or is it? Many philosophers and physicists debate over what nothing is and what real nothing is. Not everyone sees nothing the same way, which is why some physicists think of nothing as classical vacuum, whereas others think of it as unidentified potential. Logic says that even if you remove all particles, somehow manage to shield away or cancel out any magnetic or electronic fields, you would end up with empty space that has gravity, and gravity can't be cancelled out. It always remains attractive, so there is no way to block it out. But imagine if you could actually remove gravity, energy and particles, literally remove everything from a box of empty space. You would end up with a true vacuum. However, that vacuum also contains fluctuations, even at its lowest energy level. And if that wasn't enough, the empty space contains quantum particles, which come to and out of existence at any point in time of the universe. These particles come to existence, collide with other particles, then come out of existence and you are left with nothing again. This means that even if you had the power to remove everything from that box of empty space, you would still end up with those pesky quantum particles. The Deeper Nothing in 2013, Neil deGrasse Tyson hosted a debate on the existence of nothing, where theoretical physicist Lawrence Krauss argued that there is a deeper kind of nothing. This quote-unquote deeper nothing has no laws of nature, no fields, no particles, no time, and no space. Philosopher Jim Holt said that he doesn't believe that the lack of laws of nature, fields, particles, time, and space constitutes nothing, because if there is no space or time, we still have laws of physics and mathematical entities. What about consciousness? What about all the things that are non-temporal and non-spatial, Holt said. Other speakers also shared their ideas about nothing, but they didn't come to a specific conclusion. Krauss concluded his statement by saying that just because nothing is impossible to understand, it doesn't mean that it is not out there. Interestingly, this difficulty to understand the concept of nothing dates back to ancient Greeks, who refused to accept the concept of zero. They hated it so much that they refused to use zero as a number. They wouldn't even use it when it was needed for their astronomical calculations. Perhaps the reason why we are not able to understand nothing is that we, as humans, are afraid of nothingness. We are afraid of anything that breaks the rules, and nothing does exactly that. For now, as far as science is concerned, the definition of nothing will probably remain an elusive target. At least until a new scientific breakthrough gives more insight on what nothing is, or isn't, for that matter. So, what do you think about nothing? Do you have an idea of what it is? If you do, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed learning about what nothing is, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content.